Hello and welcome to Computer Science. So if you're going to look at studying a subject called computing or computing science, it's probably a really good idea if you start out with an idea about what's involved. You don't need all the details, but to have an overview to help make a decision. So when somebody says computer science, what do you think of? Well, computer science is made up of a number of components, from maths, teamwork, programming, to science, the internet and technology. So why choose computer science? Well, there's never been a more exciting time to be involved in computing related activities. Computers continue to make a big change to the way we live, conduct our business and our personal relationships and even the way we think meaning there's lots of ways we can earn a living from in the computing industry. Technology is embedded in every aspect of our lives and therefore we really do need more computer scientists. Computer science is being used to help solve many of the world's biggest problems from terrorism right the way down to poverty. Making a career in computing can be very intellectually rewarding as well as lucrative. There are lots of routes that your career path might take. Growth in this sector is predicted to continue to grow. Skills in computer science can offer you an incredible wide range of jobs. There are almost no job sector which doesn't make use of some of the skills that you will learn in computer science. The skills in computer science can lead into other jobs from the gaming industry right the way through to environmental agency, government, defence, health and safety, uh, healthcare, film, tourism, medicine, consulting. So what does the course cover? It covers a number of components from internal computer components, cyber security, data representation, the effect of digital technology on society, programming, networking and the internet and software development. We're using the OCR A-level course. It's split into three components. Component one is computer systems and it's the theory behind that. Component two is computerized thinking, algorithms and programming. And then you've got the third component, which is a practical programming experience as a project base um, assessment. And hopefully you'll be able to use the knowledge and the skills going through the course to practically uh, solve or investigate a problem. If you require any more information, feel free to contact me or you could have a look at the specification on the OCR.org.uk um, website. Thank you and have a good evening.